Yeah, one thing that you know Claudia had asked that how do you know that it's not the moon, right? It's not the fate, like the direction where you're going. It's the right direction. So again, you know, it's like there are always choices, right? Choices of thought, choices of whatever you are choosing in your everyday life. If I choose smallness, I feel smallness inside me. I mean, if I just pay attention for one second and check. But okay, you know, I'm just wishing that you know that person just is horrible. I can't stand it. You know, like I don't want to go to that whatever. So you know, you suddenly feel that constriction inside of you that something is not like you were discussing that example, right? That constrict. So those moment to moment, moment to moment, when I see that okay, is this make keeping me light or is this making me heavy? Is it making me feel small? Like when I say, okay, you know, this is so much. Let me take it all. There's something in me which feels, oh wow, you know, I'll have it all. And yet, if you check within, there's something in it which is like not right, you know. Like, and I'm not talking about like morals or ethics or you know responsibilities or duties. I'm talking about just checking in with oneself. It knows that this is a right move. This is a wrong move. This is a wrong, you know, that small, small ill will. Like, you know, like uh, you know, somebody is not well, and you do everything and you can, and yet there's something in you is a bit thankful that thank God it's not me. You know, these things that just escape us. We don't even realize that there is this movement that thank God it's not me, or probably they deserve it. That's why they are going through it. You know, like I. We, I don't even realize how I say these things or let these things enter me, and kind of, you know, they say, how do you say this? That they dirty the consciousness, they dirty my thoughts. My dirty is also a small word, right? Like they just put, I don't know, a rain of mud, and I don't even realize, and it just, it seems like an innocent thought. But thank God, it's not me. Kind so just. See, seeing that in just a little bit of honesty, that yes, it did come to me, right? I'm not no better, you know. I do judge. I say I don't, but I do judge. So again, you know, offering that or just recognizing it sometimes just does the job. You become aware, and next time when it's coming, or maybe the hundredth time after you recognize that it's coming, you have the power to say enough. Not anymore, you know. I don't have space for you. Yeah. This is a uh, very beautiful, and I think uh, we can continue a lot <laughs> with a lot more. Uh, but um, maybe we can stop. Now, well, I will share this uh, prayer that I found, and I like it. And um, maybe, uh, I mean, I know that it's a lot to to explain about this prayer. Uh, what we can finish with this the, our conversation today, uh, for our friends to know a little bit the prayers that Monica was speaking and also Taru, that are from the mother. Yeah, Taru, would you like? To... I can, yeah, I can read it and you can explain it. Yeah, yeah, please, so, please go ahead. So, December three, nineteen hundred and twelve. Last night, I had the experience of the effectivity of confident surrender to thy guidance when it is needful that something. Should be known, one knows it, and the more passive the mind to thy illumination, the clearer and the more adequate is its expression. Uh, should I pause or should I read uh, the full thing? No, I think you can complete the prayer. Okay. Yeah, I listen to thee as thou. Focused in me, and I would have liked 
to write down what thou said so that the formula in all its precision might not be lost and sorry for now i should not be able to repeat what was said then i thought that this care for conservation was again an insulting lack of confidence towards the for thou can't make of me all that i need to be and in the measure in which my attitude allows the to act on me and in me the thy omnipotence has no limit to know that at each instant what must be surely is as perfectly as is possible for all those who know how to see the in everything and everywhere no more fear no more uneasiness no more anguish nothing but a perfect serenity an absolute confidence a supreme unwavering peace the mother yeah thank you i think the first uh, few lines are to me they appear like this solidity mother says that by definition faith is either very solid unshakable or if it is shakable it is not faith so the quality of faith the nature of faith is unshakable so here you know uh, one knows it where mother says when it is needful that something should be known one knows it and the more passive the mind to thy illumination the clearer and the more adequate is its expression so many a times you know we feel as if craving in our ignorance may i know more you know may i know more may i have more light <laughs> you know it's like a craving it's not aspiration because aspiration is quiet it it is not aggressive aspiration so in the first few lines i feel that it's a very solid unshakable faith that whatever needs to be known i would know it it would be revealed to me and if something is still hidden from me then it means i am not ready to yet know it what a solidity of faith what a solidity so if right now i should not know my subconscious that's what the divine is doing that it's not revealing everything in the subconscious to me because yeah, i am not ready it's almost like you know when you are sleeping and suddenly some somebody does the curtain you know removes the curtain you won't be able to take that light in the morning you would say you know maybe do the curtains again you know i want a little darkness why because when you are waking up it's only in degrees that you want the light to come because the eyes are not attuned to that brightness so i think for us also uh, increasing you know uh, increasingly walking this path towards greater and greater illumination uh, to have that faith that only that much i would know and that much would be revealed to me of what i am capable of i think that really really uh, gives me an expression of a solidity of faith in the first few lines that i should i am where i must be neither i am ahead nor i am at the back i am exactly at the place where i must be so no comparison with anyone you know no need to compare myself i whether i am worthy not worthy i should have been there but i am here no need and then then mother says that as if you spoke in me and as if i i was losing that uh, memory of what you said in me now this happens to very many of us many times that we are in our meditation or a silent time and something gets revealed we get an intuitive insight you know we get some dots get connected 
we we say suddenly wow you know what illumination suddenly something is revealed to us now immediately i have done that and that's why i can relate with this you know one wants to write it down because one fears that it would be taken away but the memory will fade of that inspiration that has come many a times this happens you know? but mother is saying that when i wanted to write it down when i wanted to record it then i thought that this care for conservation that i must immediately write the write down the intu intuition that has come to me this care for conservation was again an insulting lack of confidence towards the you know that oh my god you know if divine wants me to have that intuition again wouldn't he give me that intuition again so and if i if i am to be in that state of being you know openness porosity to the divine grace i would be in that state again so not being aggressive or restless that oh let me preserve it you know why is it gone you know many a times we i wonder about you know imagine that all the sessions we are doing and you know, at living light or all the articles that we write everything is lost nothing doing it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because mother is with us all the time that that's what matters you know so i think it's a very that's why taru when initially she was sharing about all seeming tragedies you know they may it may seem like a tragedy oh my god you lost your channel <laughs> you lost your recordings but in the name of the divine in in this you know in this aspect that we we have to more and more get identified with the divine within all these experiences these recordings these articles sessions it is nothing in front of that so mother is saying that whatever is needed i will be given you know i don't need to care for this conservation that oh my god whether this intuition will come to me again or not yeah for thou canst make me all that i need to be and in the measure in which my attitude allow so again the barrier is our own attitude the divine grace is just like air and space is pre present around us everywhere that's how divine grace is present but we have become like walls with our opinions ideas prejudices you know judgments about the divine and surrender and all that you know we have become like walls so thought is a like a wall the moment i am in that space of thought freeness you know it's like a loose thought association i have i am not clinging to my thoughts in that state i become porous and then the air or the space which is like divine present all around me it can seep into me because the wall has broken down for for a moment and in savitri shyor bindu says cast away from the thought nimble ape of light so he says cast away thought from thee you know cast away thought from yourself it's like a curtain you know and although it is giving you a bit of light you have a little understanding through that thought but it is a nimble ape of light it is a mimicry of light it's not the true light whatever we try to understand through thought you know so there uh, just our attitude which has to become more and more open so which my attitude allows thee to act on me and in me thy omnipotence has no limits so it's only my attitude that becomes barrier otherwise your power your omnipotence all powerful that has no limit it can reach any pitch darkness then to know that at each instant what must be surely is i think what faith again solidity of faith so knowing that i am exactly at the place where i'm supposed to be there is nothing wrong happening to know that at at each instant one must what must be surely is as perfectly as is possible for all those who know how to see thee in everything and everywhere so in each aspect of my life wherever i am in a prison on the street doesn't matter amidst difficult people still there is a possibility and mother is talking about those who know how to see divine everywhere this is not for everyone i think that has to be reflected upon 
because if i am in a very sad situation suffering really suffering making myself miserable in as abusive company and i don't have this divine everywhere then i can't uh, take these sentences on to me where mother is saying that now everything is perfect as it should be so the attitude has to change that do i see that divine reflected everywhere around me so for all those who know how to see thee in everything and everywhere no more fear now for that person that attitude you know in that state of being what is there to fear when the divine is all around me when the divine is exactly the situation where i am supposed to be no more fear no more uneasiness no more anguish why anguish because there is this restless energy in us which never wants to be in the present moment it either wants to be in the past either it wants to comment on the present or it wants to be in the future it repels the present moment thought free present moment just being where you are fully so there anguish ceases you know it disappears when we know that oh divine has put me here and i see everywhere there is divinity if i am able to see that an aspect of divine then no more fear no more uneasiness so the energy restless energy within me would not want to jump out and go in the past or the future or somewhere else it is very happy and content in the present moment nothing but a perfect serenity an absolute confidence again you know the solidity that of faith that we were talking and a supreme unwavering peace that whatever must be revealed to me will be revealed to be it will not be taken away from me right now the divine has i am exactly in the state where i am supposed to be in this present moment so i think for me it's also a prayer you know bringing us back to the present moment in the here and now beautiful selection thank you so much thank you thank you very much monica and tarun for this uh, conversation